Hello everyone, this is RVer Frank having some RV fun. I've got a new project lined up that I'd like to show. Another mod I made to this uh, RV is putting these puck lights. Now you can get these at the dollar store for a buck a piece. You just hit them, they come on, off. Uh, they're AAA uh, batteries, three of them. They come in various colors. And uh, they give off a good amount of light without any uh, drawing on your uh, battery. So I have these in all my uh, basement storage uh, areas. On Amazon, I found motion detector lighting for security. Very reasonable, they're LED, I got two of them. I think there may have been around 19 bucks. And that's where I mount one. I haven't decided where I'm gonna mount the other. At night, I typically, before going to bed, turn off the amber outdoor light. And what I've installed here it's an AGP Tech. Not sure what batteries are in there. It came with batteries. And that thing puts out some light. It will detect motion. And it bright it lights up the area. It's on for a period of time, I'm not sure. And the way it works to turn it on is there's a little a pin that comes with it and you just put it in there and it sets it. So mounting it in this location makes it easy to turn it on. And of course, uh, you can't turn it off without that little pin. And what I've done, because it's really, I believe, uh, not as weather protected as it perhaps should be, I just Velcro it up there. Put it in. Set it and you're good to go. When you leave your camp, turn it off, bring it inside, and you're done with it. I'm a big fan of Velcro on installation of items uh, whenever possible. You can always change your mind on what you're gonna do. This comes with uh, self-adhesive pads, but those sometimes are difficult to get off. So. Set up camp. And you're good to go. Set it up. It won't bother you all day long, but at night, you'll light up the area. Not having a strainer in that drain always uh, has the potential of letting something drop down in there and the unfortunate uh, effort to try to get that out. So what I went and did was go to Lowe's, bought this little drop-in strainer, and it fits perfect. This plug might even uh, hold water back. Yeah, so the plug goes right in top of that strainer. Of course, it might be a little bit of leak, leakage around the strainer, but in any event, uh, perfect fit. Let's see, I ordered some of this 303 aerospace protectant from Amazon. I believe I paid 45 bucks uh, for um, a gallon. And this should last a while. And I'll be using this in place of Armor All. So we'll give that a shot and see how it goes. Thank you for watching and come back to see more RV upgrades.
want you to get up and walk like a duck. Me? Yes. I always walk like a duck. What are you talking about? Do the duck walk. Do the duck walk.